All right, I'm going to show you how to remove the background um, of a picture using Pixlr Editor. Now, I always, I typically use Photoshop for this, but if you're looking for a free software um, that's web-based, you can use it on a Chromebook, this is the way to go. So you open up Pixlr Editor, pixlr.com forward slash editor, open an image from your computer, and find the image that you want to remove the background from. So this is just a webcam pic that I took. Now, when I open this up, if I go to grab an eraser and remove the background, it just goes to white. That's not actually a transparent background. So I'm going to undo that. I need to find a way to erase this so that the stuff I erase away is transparency. So the trick here is over on your layers, there's a lock. You want to double click the lock on your picture, which unlocks that layer for editing. And now you can use like the eraser tool and erase away. That checkerboard is your indicator of transparency. But there's other tools you can use too. You can use this um, wand tool to select areas and it'll magically kind of pick and you can hit your delete key, but you see it's not perfect. So unless you have like a flat background, it's not gonna remove all the things for you. The other thing you can do is grab the lasso tool. And with the lasso tool, you can actually, whoops, you can actually draw around the shape. This is probably going to be your easiest method is to draw around the shape that you want to keep. So counterintuitive, not around the shape that you're removing, you put it around the shape that you keep. Now, if I hit delete, it's going to remove my whole picture. That's not what I want. So what you do instead is you go to your so invert selection. And now what it's done is it's selected the opposite of the thing I've selected. So if I hit delete, it's going to remove that whole background. Now I can go ahead and deselect all. And now I can grab my eraser and then I can do my fine tuning and get my picture looking just how I want it to look um, to layer it with another image. So the only thing you want to keep in mind at this point, once this is done, if we were to pretend this is done, I need to save this version. I want to make sure that I'm saving it as a PNG because a PNG is the file type that retains the transparency. If you save your file type as a JPEG, it will give you just a white background and then you'll have that ugly white square around your picture when you go to layer it with another picture. So, yep, have fun with this. It requires a little bit of patience, but the results are pretty awesome. Thanks.